Hello, Mighty Mums, Coach Aaron here and Courtney. Today we're going to show you today's workout. For today's workout, you're going to need a drink bottle, your towel, a mat, and you're going to use a band, okay? So the whole workout is going to be done with this band either above your knees or at your ankles, okay? We're going to work through your legs, your glutes, your quads. Uh, it's going to be a leg burner. So I hope you're ready because we're about to get started. I want you to get that band that you got at home and you're going to put it above your knees and then you're going to lie on your side, okay? So Courtney's going to show you. We're going to lie on our side here. All right, so you can do like you're at the beach, okay, hand supporting the head, or that hand can be outstretched and you can lie your head down. You're gonna stick your bum out, you're gonna bring your knees slightly forward, okay? Now, all I want you to do is stack the hips. From there, we're gonna open the top knee, okay? Open the knee and close. Open the knee and close, okay? So I wanna make sure this top hip, it doesn't open up. So make sure that you slightly roll the top hip forward, Okay, now we're going to activate through this glute med. Now the glute med responsibility is for external rotation, so opening up the knee. If you don't have strong glutes, you'll put too much pressure through that knee joint. Good, so exhale as you open, inhale as you close. Perfect, okay, so you're really going to start to feel this glute burn. You might feel down the ITB as well, okay? You want to get a bit further and deeper into the movement, push your bum back, okay? You're going to feel that a lot more. Exhale as you open, inhale as you close. Couple more here. Good, burning the legs here today. Really, really excited. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the top leg out and then we're gonna go up and down towards the sky. Okay, try and keep the leg in line with the body. Okay, and then again, we're gonna work through the glutes. You should feel that burning sensation when you do smile, laugh, do whatever you need to do to get through because this will burn, but it's very beneficial. We're gonna to tone through those glutes, the quads, the legs, the calves, hamstrings, the whole body, okay? Now we're gonna circle the leg, small circles, okay? Keep the tension on the band, okay? Make sure the band is above the knees. All right, you're stacking those hips. You should really start to feel that through the glutes now. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect, and circle the other way for me. Okay, circle the other way. Good, you can rest at any point, okay? Have a quick rest. Coming back up, okay, because we're really going to target through the glutes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I want you to bend the knee in towards the body and then you're going to extend it out, okay? But we're keeping the tension on the band the whole time. It's really, really important. So push the knee up, okay, making sure the tension is on there and then you're going to feel it in your glutes a lot more as well. Great. Excellent stuff. Extend all the way out. Good, good, good. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now you're gonna point your big toe down, bring the, the leg forward. Big toe, press to the sky, straight leg. Now we're working through your glute minimus, okay? So as a smaller part of your glute here, it's gonna really feel it when you point your big toe down, okay? Point your big toe down, draw down slow, and then quick towards the sky, okay? Keep turning that forward. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward, Okay, because it's, I guess, got you in that internally rotated position, but it's really gonna target through that glute there. And let's go for a five. And four, and three, and two, and one. Excellent, just give a bit of a tap through the glutes, and then we're gonna roll over and go to our other side here. Okay, I hope you really felt that. That was good. Courtney felt that, for sure. Now, let's set up again. Push the hips back, stick the bum out, stack the hips, roll the top hip forward. Good, okay, from here, let's open the top knee. Keep the feet together, okay? That bottom glute's probably gonna work now because we just fired it up, but don't be alarmed if you feel both glutes working. Good, okay, exhale to the sky. Okay, making sure you don't roll that hip backwards, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna start to feel your hip joint. You might even feel your lower back, okay? So, exhale to the sky, inhale down. Think about the glute, the glute medius at the back is in this region, good. Now let's extend the top leg out, okay, I'm gonna go up and down towards the sky. Good work, ladies, good. And each week as you do this, see if that burn becomes less. If the band starts to become easier, that's when you can start to get harder bands, and then you know your glutes are getting really strong. Strong glutes equals strong black, you know, support your knees better as well. A lot of people neglect this area. Now, circles through the legs, circles, small, tension on the band, breathing, engage your core, good, circle, push higher on the band ladies, higher on the band, let's go, 
perfect. And let's circle the other way. Circle the other way. Excellent stuff. Good. Keep that tension. Don't let that leg fall. I know the tendency will be to make it easier. So you'll want to drop that leg, but keep those circles going. Good. Now bend the knee in towards the body and exhale, extend it out. It's good. Tension's on the bend. You're pushing out on the knee. If you've got knee problems, if you've got back problems, physios will probably prescribe these exercises. So we're going to incorporate these into our program so that we can prevent injury. Good, let's do four more. Four, three, and two, and one. You're gonna point the big toe down, okay? Working through the glute minimus. Up we go to the sky and down. Good, point that big toe down. You're gonna rotate your foot inwards. Good, and raise them as high as you can, as high as you can. Good, up we go, up we go. Excellent stuff, good. A little higher, ladies, let's go. Five to go. Five, and four, and three, two, and one. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Let's tap that glute out. Excellent work. Now we're gonna go into a standing position. Keep the band where it is. Okay, I'm just gonna help Courtney up here. Okay, so reset the band if you have to. Now, what we're gonna do above the knees, Courtney's gonna go into a squat position. Okay, that squat position is like this. All she's going to do is take one leg out, tap, and then back into center. Okay, let's go, ladies. Squat down. Stay on the. You can alternate sides. Good. Bum down, nice and low. Okay, so you fully extend the leg. All right. Now this is going to burn, as everything we do. Okay, pushing out on the knees. So when you do squats, this is what this band is here for. It's teach you to turn your knees out, which activates your glutes. Okay, but a lot of people internally rotate. Therefore, feel knee pain, back pain, hip pain. Okay, this is just going to teach those habits that you're going to need. Good. Now, we're just going to do normal squats. Okay, so you're going to open your feet up. Down we go. And then push to the sky. Nice. Okay, so the band's there. You're pushing out. You're ripping your feet apart. Okay, but your feet are staying stable. Okay, the band's just going to remind you in your head to push out on your knees. Good. Down and up. Good. Excellent work. Three, and two, and one. Now hands on hips, we're gonna do something called the tin pan. You're gonna rock from side to side and you're going to kick the leg out. Rock from side to side. This is gonna activate the glutes. Trust me, if you do this correctly, squeeze your glutes nice and tight. Nice and tight. Good, kick it out. Great. Good, kick it as high as you can, again, if the band's too easy, it might be you're getting stronger, it might be the need to purchase a stronger band. Good. Nice. And three, and two, and one. Courtney's going to hold on to the ledge here. So you might have a chair, a, a window to lean on, whatever it is, lean on to something. From there, she's going to kick this leg back, okay, while it's straight. So we're going to squeeze the glutes all the way down and then back up. Good. So you might actually feel the leg that's on the floor working because it has to stabilize in order when this leg goes up. So both legs will work and that's the bonus. Good. Okay, so you'll see making sure that she's not arching through her lower back here as she extends back. Okay, so cores engage, we lift, we engage glute, we squeeze glute there. From now, Courtney's gonna hold at the top and she's gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. Okay, shoulder blades down. Good, okay. When we hold it in tension is when the glutes are going to work really, really hard here. Good, good. A little higher. Let's go, ladies. Lift it up and five. And four and three and two and one. Courtney's going to turn facing you guys. Now she's going to hold on with the right hand. That same leg now is going to extend outwards and side. So up we go to the side. Good. Perfect. Okay, you'll really feel this. If you don't, Something's not right. So make sure hips are square, shoulder blades are down. Okay, bottom leg's gonna work again, and so is the top. Hold it up the top now, ladies. Little pulses. Let's go. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Good. You will feel glute pain like you have never felt before. Good. Pulse, pulse, lift the leg higher. Let's go. Shoulder blades back and breathe. Five, four, three two and one. Oh, okay, face back, 
to your anchor points. Now we're gonna do all that again on the other leg. Okay, so extend, up we go, and down. Perfect. Good stuff, ladies. Good, really good. Okay, if you're a runner as well, this is great, okay? Because you're doing a lot of impact work, therefore you need to make the powerhouse muscles, the glutes, really strong. All right, hold the leg up there for me. It's time for some pulses. Good, pulse and pulse and pulse. Watch the arching of the back. Don't just aimlessly swing the leg up or you can hurt your back, okay? So cause engage, back neutral. Good, pulse, pulse, pulse. Three, two, and one. Courtney's gonna face away from you guys. Now she's gonna extend this leg out to the side, okay? So holding on to the ledge, good. Nice, so you're squeezing the glutes here, ladies, okay? Now you might notice one side is stronger than the other. This is a time to make sure and be aware of the imbalances that your body might have, okay? Now hold the leg up there, it's time for pulses. Here we go, pulse and pulse and pulse, good. Keep working, keep working, lift the leg a little higher. Perfect, perfect, good. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one, oh, shake the legs out for me, shake the legs out, it's good. If you wanna grab a quick drink, please do so. And we're gonna try and keep the band on there because we're gonna move into our next movement. For the next movement, uh, you'll be needing a mat. Keep the band above the knees. We're gonna move into some horse kicks. Okay, so Courtney's gonna go into all four. So hands and then knees, so you'll see Shoulders are directly in line with elbows, hips, okay, in line with the knees. From there, she's gonna take her left knee, she's gonna open up to the side, push the band out, and then come back down. Good, you're gonna try and keep your hips square, okay? You don't want it to open too much, okay? So you're gonna open your knee down, okay? This glute should be working, as well as the other one to stabilize. Core, pelvis, shoulder blades in neutral, okay? So, lifting out to the side, good stuff. Out and in, good, out and in, perfect. Good, if you have knee problems, okay, get some extra padding on your knees there. Good, open and close, open and close. Three and two, are you breathing ladies? And one, extend that leg out, the toe is gonna to be touching the floor, from there, you're gonna lift it to the sky. Up and down, up and down, good. Hips are square, ladies. Shoulder blades, pull them down. Core engaged, good. Head in neutral, okay? Squeeze under your armpits. Good, and pulse, and pulse. So just tap the big toe on the floor, then back up and push. Again, watch the arching of the lower back here. Up we go, let's go. Five and four, three, two, one. Now the sole of the foot, I want you to imagine the same leg now, ladies, and that you're trying to imprint your sole of the foot to the roof. So we push to the sky, down, and up, good. Okay, keep that sole of the foot, trying to keep it square. So we keep it as close as we can to the glutes. Okay, the sole of the foot is imprinted into the sky. You press up and back down, up and back down. Good, check, balance, core, nice, up, and down, little high ladies. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Excellent. How was that, Connie? Did you feel that? Yeah. Yep. Good. If she felt it, you must felt it. We all felt it, except me, because I'm teaching it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the other side. So let's do that all again. Our right side is gonna open up like a fan, and then back down. Okay, open and back down. Good, so we just make sure that here, good, open, back down, hips are square, open and back down, nice work, open and back down. Good, really good, really good. Okay, open that knee as wide as you can, okay? Externally rotating, the glutes are gonna work, ladies, come on. Three, and two, and one. Okay, extend that leg now, back straight, just tapping on the big toe, and then we're gonna to extend towards the sky. Up we go, good. Tap the big toe and drive it up. Cause and gaze, shoulders down, heads in neutral. Good. That's it, lift the leg up a little higher. Let's go, 
Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Perfect. Good. Lift that leg up. Good. Drive it up. Drive it up. And five, four, three, two, and one. Last one of the horse kicks. Trying to get the sole of your foot into the sky. Okay, here we go. Sole the foot and drive up. Good, and down. Drive up and go down. Perfect. Up and down and up and down. Good. Up and down. Good. Push it up, ladies, a little higher. Five to go. Five and four and three and two and one. Excellent stuff. I'll get you all to stand up for me or you can do a little child's pose <laughs> like what he's doing here to have a bit of a rest. But from there, we're going to move on. If you now need to grab a quick drink or you need to take the band off, whatever it is that you needed to do, you can do it. Okay, hope you had your quick drink. Now we're going to get back into it. Bonnie's going to show us a side lunge now. Okay, so what she's going to do, all right, standing in front of you, then she's going to hop to the side, bend down, good, centre, let's stay in the same leg. Out we go. Reach down. So now we're working through the inner thighs, okay? I want you to push the knees out as far as you can. Working through the inner thigh. Okay, so one knee's bent, one is straight. Okay, so we do a lot of forward movements, but not many lateral movements. And when someone does do a lateral movement, then that's when they can get injured. All right, so I want to make sure we're doing all planes, forward, backwards, lateral. Good. Perfect. Reaching down is also an active recovery one. It's not too hard, it's more of a stretch and a mobility one. Now, bring back to center, you're going to go to the other side. Now, give yourself some room. Out, lean, back to centre. Good. Out, lean, back to centre. Excellent. Good. Go the booty blend. 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 The booty band blaster. Mighty mums, how good. It's ready to go. Let's go. Reach out three. Nice. And two. And one. Okay, we're going to do some crab walks. Connie's going to turn side on, so we can show you. So what's going to happen? She's going to sit in a squat position. From there, she's going to take three steps to the left and then three steps to the right. Off we go. Good. She'll come a little close to you guys. Nice. So you'll see bum is down. I want you to push out. Never lose the tension in the bend. Okay, so you want to keep it as tight, as taut as you can. All right? Crab walk, crab walk. Really important. Nice. Perfect. Let's get the bum down, ladies, a little lower. Okay, three steps to the right, three steps to the left. Neutral position in the back, heads neutral, bum is down. Good, let's keep it moving. To the left, to the right, good. And let's go again, off we go, good. And let's bring it back. One more time, ladies, let's go to the left and to the right. Now, Courtney's gonna face you and do the duck walk. So she's going to squat down, okay, pushing out on the band. She's going to take four steps forward, one, two, three, four, and then four steps backwards, a little way from Courtney as well. <laughs> Good, okay, I want you to push out on the band as much as you can. Push out, push out. Good stuff. Nice work, ladies. Legs should be burning. Quads, glutes, hamstrings. Good, push out in the band, come on. Sit the bum down lower, sit the bum down lower. Good, two more times, forward, good. And back, last one, forward, and back. Excellent stuff, ladies. I want you to line your back now, okay? Keep the band above the knees. We're gonna go into our glute bridges. Okay, so heads down, hands down by your side. Feet are shoulder width apart, all right? Keep your knees open, then you're gonna drive up towards the sky. Good, and back down. Good, drive up and back down, excellent. Pushing out on the bend, okay? Don't let it pull you in. Push through your heels, squeeze through the glutes, your shoulder blades pinned to the mat, eye gaze, looking up towards the sky. Okay, engage your core as well, your hamstrings, your glutes, all should be working, your posterior, everything in the back there. Nice work. Good, push it up ladies, little higher, four to go, up, four. Squeeze glutes at the top, three. Two, I want you to hold up the top for me, open and close the knees. 
Now what's gonna happen when you open and close your knees is your bum's gonna drop. So you wanna have to pick your bum up nice and high. Okay, keep the tension. Squeeze glutes, squeeze glutes, squeeze glutes. Work really hard here. Excellent, open and close, open and close. Perfect start. Good, you should really feel your glutes burning on here, turning on hard. Nice, nice, good. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to hold it up there for me. Halfway down and push up. Halfway down and push up. Oh, the burn should be coming on. We are nearly there, ladies. This is a short, sharp workout. We've done with intensity, the right technique. You will feel it. Good, halfway and push. Push all the way up. Engage your core. Don't just go through the motions and not engage your core. Good, you gotta breathe. Exhale, higher. Good, push through the heels, up. Good, and five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, one leg in tabletop. We're gonna do single leg now, this is painful. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, one leg in tabletop. From there, drive that hip up, all the way up. Good, and down. Good, push through that heel. You may feel that cramping feeling. Stop before that, reset, then go again. Okay, this is good. If you do this in week one, see how you are in week four. Have you improved? Good, drive it up, down. Push up and down. Push up and down. Two to go, push up and down. Hold it up the top, halfway down and push. Same leg, go, go. A little higher, come on, up we go. Raise, have a little rest of your knee. There is no shame in that. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Other side, then we're gonna lift all the way up. Here we go, push through the heel, and go. Good, drive. Now check your hips, okay? And make sure your hips are parallel, that one hip isn't tilting when you lift up. Good, drive the hips up. Let's go up and down, up and down. Five to go, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold it up there, halfway down and push. Let's go, hold it up, halfway down, push. Good, push higher, go. Drive up, drive up, and push, and push. Come on, ladies, stay with me, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stay down there, have a little moment. Okay, the moment's finished. <laughs> let's come up to a seated position. Okay, move the band down now to your ankles. Okay, so reset it. Okay, once the band is at the ankles, I want you to place your hands down for support. Okay, Courtney's gonna show you. Then you're gonna lift one leg in the air. Okay, and then you're gonna extend out. Good, and give yourself a bit of room if you need, and then bring it back in. Extend out and bring it back in. Okay, the band may move. I want you to squeeze this quad here. Okay, the hip may work as well. All right, extend out and back in. Extend out and back in, good. This is perfect. Good, it's not really necessarily a tough movement, it's more if you can track through your quadricep, which is right here, you will really feel it, okay? Extending it all the way out. Good, feel that burn. And five, and four, and three, two, and one. Change legs, ladies. Good, reset your hand, shake your hand down if you need to. Lift the other leg up, extend it out, good, and bring it back in. Extend it out, bring it back in. Good, squeeze through that quad. Work really hard here, perfect. Nice, squeeze through the quad, squeeze through the quad. I like it. Good, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, cool. Help Connie to stand up. We are nearly there, ladies. Connie's gonna face the mirror, bring the band back up above the knees. This is our last little bit before we finish up. Okay, so stay with me, we're nearly there. Here we go. Okay, Connie's gonna come forward and go and squat pulses, all right? So push out on the band, down we go. Good, and pulse and pulse and pulse. Just last little finish up, okay, before we finish up this workout. Okay, I hope your glutes have got a bit of a workout, your quads, your hamstrings, everything's working really hard. Okay, sitting down, push out on the band, push out on the band, good. Perfect, sit a little lower, sit a little lower, excellent. Stay down there, stay down there. Perfect, perfect. Now you're gonna hold down there and open and close. Open and close the knees, perfect. Good. Ladies, you've been doing this for 24 minutes now. I want you to do it. 
Drop your palm a little lower and work a little harder. Let's go. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Very good, very good. Nice, and hold. Stay down there for me. Open your knees, rip the floor apart, drop your bum down, hold. Hold here, chest up, good, hold. Oh, you should feel that. Perfect, breathe. Push out, push out. Legs should be shaking, 10 more seconds. Stay with me, breathe. Hold on, three, two, and one. That's a clap to you, clap well to Courtney. Well done, take the band off, grab a quick drink. Let's go into our stretches, okay? I'm actually glad to take that band off, okay? Now you're gonna go into a pigeon stretch, okay? So you're gonna pop your glute under and drop your whole body down. Courtney's gonna demonstrate this. Okay, good. So, come down to your elbows, stretching this glute. Okay, hips are square, you should feel that there. If it's too much there, you can do it up onto maybe a couch, okay? So you can do it standing as well. That's totally fine. So we have worked through the glutes a lot, so we wanna make sure we stretch through there. Good ladies, remember to tick this off, okay? Make sure, look back at your week, how you've gone, have you done my fitness power? Have you done your 10,000 steps? You know, have you uh, done your workouts? Have you checked in with the group? Have you reached out for help? Change sides. This whole program is that you can get support, accountability at any point, okay? Don't be afraid that if you ask for help, it's a weak sign of weakness or you know that you're not good enough. Everyone asks for help and it helps you accelerate your growth a little bit quicker as well. Good work, ladies. Okay, let's roll onto your side, pull your ankle back. We're gonna stretch out through your quads. Good, pull the ankle back, perfect. Good, have a look at this month's agenda, see if you're on track, okay? Making sure you know what you need to do each day. Now, if you've had a bad week, it's okay. Restart tomorrow, don't wait for Monday. Why can't you start tomorrow, okay? Restart, reset, change sides, ladies. Good, pull the ankle back and stretching out through the quads. Good, so we stretch the glutes, we'll stretch the quads. Now I'm gonna get you to stand up, we're gonna stretch the hamstrings. So what you do is just pop your foot out, point your toe towards you, and you're gonna draw both hands down towards the toe, okay? If you're flexible like Courtney, you'll be able to touch it all the way down, head down for me. Good, and you should feel it down the back. Keep pointing that toe towards you. Feel your calf, your hamstring back there. Good. Breathe and change. Good. Have you done your meditation today? Have you done your morning routine? These are the little basics that we always hark on that are going to be really important to set up your day. Make sure that you're less emotional. De-stress, sleep better as well. Good, point the toe a little bit more towards you. Excellent. Now we'll come up to a standing position, ladies, and we will do our roll down. So arms up, tuck the chin in, and down we go. Roll it down, all the way down. Good, head down, grab opposite elbows from the left to right, close your eyes. Good, and just relax. And then slowly coming up, one vertebrae at a time. All the way to the top. Well done, ladies. I hope you enjoyed that. Please give me some feedback if you did. I assume your legs will be sore, and if they're not, get a thicker band. <laughs>